Hi guys, welcome to IT Network in how to download MSCI MPG Z790 Tomahawk Max Wi Fi driver download. So, this is your motherboard. So, search on as it is on the Google search box to right click to new tab. Slow down. Select the driver first if you have a check the warranty and all that they are available. BIOS drivers, firmware first drivers. Then you will select your operating system Windows 10 and 11. Here to download the system chipset drivers, visual drivers, audio drivers, LAN driver, and SATA and other. So one by one system chipset. Okay, select this. Click to download. When it is completed, to single click to open. Open this folder. And that is the setup of some chipset. .exe. Double click to open. And click to run. Then click to yes. Next, accept and install. Then that is installing. So try to download next onboard visual driver means display driver. Same click to download. It will start almost it is size. Now it is completed to single click to open. Open this folder and that is installations. That is the driver. Back and that is installation ex to double click to launch and then click to run. Then click to Windows install. Click setup. So that is a coming the error. That's why it's actually that motherboard is this not Intel system. So that's why it's coming. So no issue. You next next to install and then try to different audio driver. So that is the same. Click to download. Wait few seconds. So double click to open. Again open this folder and again run, run this to setup. Then click to yes. Oh, that is actually tools. This is tool here. So we have to download the universal driver. Again click to download. Do not download this ones. This is actually audio tool for firmware update like this. Open this. Open the drivers. Find out setup. Click to yes. Then next. Now this audio driver is installing. Restart my computer later to click and finish. Then LAN driver. This is Wi-Fi driver. This is Bluetooth driver. This is network LAN driver. So guys, we have to download one by one. First, Wi-Fi driver. Click to download.
it is complete so open the wifi driver now do we need to open the folder so then u w d to open win 64 install it and this it is drag up so double click to launch then next bluetooth driver need to download then open this folder again open that is a bluetooth driver installed it was click to yes click to wgali and then click to next this is also installing so then install lan driver again open open this folder this is lan driver exe run Yes, and here to show install. Click to install and close it. Then SATA. So that is the tools to download the repair. So and that is other. This is if required to download. Okay. Then. Driver and BIOS. Firmware is also available. So that is the file firmware. So click to download and launch. We so, upgrade the BIOS also. This is BIOS. Click to download. That is the latest BIOS. So second step, guys, if you are downloaded. drivers is not installing so you can run forcefully how to so firstly open the file manager file explorer this pc so then go to download which is you downloaded the folder so this is all select okay right click to copy and create a folder on the desktop and any locations paste okay and then right click to extract here one by one extract all and same locations down uh, next stop driver select this and then extract here. second extract all tools x stop s stop drivers and select the and then extract so this is lan driver this is also lan driver this is ultra lan g This is Bluetooth PT means Bluetooth drivers, chipset driver, network driver, Wi-Fi driver, and audio driver, and real the audio drivers. And this is not required, so I did it. So, what is the next step? Right click to Windows button and then go to Device Manager. 
ओके एंड सपोज यू हैव टू अपडेट द लैंड ड्राइव ओके सो व्हाट इज द लैंड द नेटवर्क दिस इज योर लैंड हियर टू शो द वाईफाई सो सिलेक्ट टू योर वाईफाई ड्राइव सो राइट क्लिक अपग्रेड ब्राउज लोकली ब्राउज एंड गो टू डेस्कटॉप डेस्कटॉप ड्राइवर सिलेक्ट दिस एंड दैट इज नॉट शो बिकॉज दिस इज not extract this is that's why it's not showing if you extract the show here select this drive and then next and next and then close so that is a display driver so as you one by one try require only display first second network okay and then chipset also there processor this is chipset and wifi also next audio driver okay and then restart finally it is reinstalled okay thank you